wanted to show this. Uh, this is the. Uh, many of you probably have never even heard of one of these guns. Uh, you, you know the Daisy air rifle. Uh, this is a Daisy 22 long rifle, and it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, they call it the Legacy by Daisy. And so I've got this uh, shot really overexposed. It may look real bright because. Uh, I want to be able to show you the part that we've manufactured here. Um, it's kind of hard to see uh, on the black gun, so either way, I digress. Um, what it is, these guns, they're very hard to get parts for. Uh, they're a takedown model. Right here, just like the Ruger 1022 and everything, you've got um, a spanner nut. with It's got detents on it, and this gun's a takedown. Pretty cool little setup. Everything on it quickly comes apart. Um, let's see here. We'll start from from right here pull that bolt back to there you've got a button right down here that when you press that button your trigger group comes out now your bolt comes out that right there the spanner it comes apart and <laughs> I mean as far as the it's got a, a Ruger style rotary mag and I don't know if the 1022 mag fits this or not I don't know that right now um, I've just been exposed to this gun, um, but the gun needed an extractor. There was, uh, and you can't find them anywhere. The only way that you could find the extractor for it was if you were to purchase a, purchase a new bolt. And so, we, or I, made one. And I wanted to go ahead and show this to you guys. To where if there's any of you that are industrious enough to to make one for your Daisy Air Rifle, well, I've got the information right here where you can look at it and see. You can contact me for more detailed information. Uh, or if that's not the case but you need one, uh, let me know and I'll make you one. Uh, clearly it will be better to have your particular gun here for final fitment but that's it uh, right there the spring clip now that's another thing altogether I haven't found those and if that's broken that's gonna be a little tougher to make uh, we can make it but it, it'll suck to do <laughs> um, this is the extractor and it is hardened and it's a little different than the original. The original didn't have this nub right here. I went ahead and put that nub in there just to stand it off a little bit. But the way this guy works is it sits right here. And then your clip. comes around here and it just you've got two sides of the clip one side doesn't have this ear and the other side does the side with the ear just wraps right around and holds that extractor on and so uh, that's it and I can get you like I say if anyone wants to try and make one you can see here and I just had to just get a piece of steel and process elimination and then hardened it once I had it functioning properly uh, something that is important on this design uh, let's see here whenever this bottom side here you see how it is that's how it, that's how it's gonna sit now I'll put this down and right here it's angled it has to be angled and beveled and that way let me get a, a test around here whenever it comes up out of the magazine it's got a slide up underneath there we go it's got a slide up underneath that so if you don't have that beveled and angled it's very hard to slide in underneath there uh, so just real quick I wanted to show you all that and so if anybody needs an extractor or repair for the legacy by Daisy 22 long rifle uh, let me know I went ahead and reamed uh, the chamber out uh, to a sporting chamber uh, give it a little bit more room uh, 
that way some of these rounds they uh, with the, all the 22 ammunition right now uh, being made so fast I'm noticing some discrepancies between ammunition you know maybe it's not crimped right this or that and so uh, opening up that chamber just a little bit helps it to feed real well um, does it dis destroy your uh, accuracy no in a lab would you notice could you know could you notice a difference in accuracy yeah maybe a little bit whenever your chamber gets opened up more uh, you are going to notice that um, or you could notice that but in the real world for what we do and what this gun will be used for no you will not notice a difference uh, so anyways that is the that's that's the gist of my video if anybody uh, would like to contact me you can go to our Facebook page and uh, it's a uh, Facebook page is team KLR defensive concepts and then uh, our email is the same thing at gmail.com thanks a lot